Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade. If you're new here, hi, welcome. And if you're not, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something that's been on my mind for a while. And that is basically the secret to growing a successful Instagram channel in this day and age. And the reason why it's been on my mind for a while is because every time I explain this to someone, they're kind of like, oh <laughs> it's like something clicks and because of that response i realized that i needed to do a youtube video on it so that anyone else who wasn't quite aware of this like secret to growing on an instagram will become aware as a result of watching this video so you know i don't like a long intro let's just get straight to the good stuff okay so a bit of context Instagram currently has 2 billion monthly active users. That's right too. I previously thought it was 1 billion, which obviously at some point it was 1 billion. Um, but then I realized that the article that I was using as my reference was actually a bit out of date, despite having the year 2022 on it. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I'll put a link to my reference in the description if you wanna kind of fact check me. But at the moment, Instagram has 2 billion monthly active users. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of people active as well, guys. I don't know how Instagram differentiates between active and non-active, but the point is, is that they're saying there's 2 billion people who are actively going on the Instagram, and that potentially means 2 billion people who are uploading content on a semi-regular basis. So what does that mean? What that means is that Instagram has a bit of a problem in the sense that there is too much content being shared on their platform. Now, is there such thing as too much content? Probably not. But from Instagram's perspective, the more content that is shared on their platform and the more users that they have, I mean, the more money they make, but also <laughs> the harder it is for them to ensure that us users who are using Instagram and browsing content on Instagram are having a good viewer experience. And the reason why is because the more content that's being shared, the harder it is for Instagram to ensure that we are seeing content that we actually want to see. So as the platform continues to grow, because Instagram is still very much growing despite the big competition that's out there, as the platform has continued to grow, Instagram has had to get super creative with how they rank content, with how they decide what content gets shown on the Explore page, all of that stuff is incredibly different to how it used to be, right? They've had to get super creative with that. And obviously one of the main ways that they've had to do that is by updating their algorithm. And if you want a real in-depth video on Instagram's algorithm and how it works, especially in the year 2022, because it has changed so much, I'm gonna link to a video up here. It is a three-part series. I recommend checking it out because I dive deep into the algorithm, so it's gonna be super useful for you. But for the sake of this video, I wanna focus on the fact that there's so much content being shared on Instagram and there are so many users on Instagram that Instagram have been forced to get super clever with how they decide what content we see, right? So what that's meant is that they've transitioned from being a platform where if you wanted to find new content, you head to the explore page and you just see the most popular content. Do you remember that's what it used to be like? You'd go on the explore page and just see a huge selection of content from different niches, about different things, from different people. And the reason you were seeing it was because that content was popular. That was the core deciding factor as to what content you were gonna see on your explore page. It was the content that was popular, that people were liking, that people were sharing. Now, it's actually more about relevancy. So now when you go on your explore page, what you're gonna see is a bunch of content which is popular, do not get me wrong, but more importantly, it is relevant to you. So Instagram have developed loads of different signals and bots and all this techie stuff to try and figure out not only what you're interested in, but also what everyone's content is about. And it is this process of pairing what you're interested in with what people's content about together, which decides what content you're gonna see on your explore page or even on your home feed because of their recent updates where now you even see content on your home feed that is from people who you don't necessarily follow. So that is the context of it all, right? We're living in a day and age where relevancy on Instagram is the most important factor when it comes to what content you see on the explore page, but also from your perspective, when it comes to who is gonna see your content, right? So. What does this mean? How does this impact you as a creator? What's the big secret? Well, <laughs> the big secret is that to grow on Instagram in this day and age, Instagram need to understand who your audience is. 
That is the secret, like that is it. When you get to a stage where Instagram knows who your audience is, they have a clear understanding of which group of people in the world would love your content. When you get to that stage, it becomes considerably easier to grow. Let me give you some examples to really break this down further. So let's say that you run an account and Instagram doesn't understand who your audience is yet. Maybe that's because you don't understand who your audience is. Maybe that's because you've not put in some of the tactics that I'm gonna explain later on in this video to ensure that Instagram knows who your audience is. There could be a few different reasons, but let's just say that you run an account and Instagram currently doesn't understand who your target audience is for your content. This is what happens when you post on that account. You share an amazing post and you're super excited about it because you're like, my God, I'm a creative genius. People are gonna go crazy for this, right? So you post an amazing piece of content and then Instagram looks at that content. The algorithms look at that content and it tries to decide if it's gonna push that post out to more people outside of your current audience. And if so, who are those people gonna be, right? So in this example, Instagram doesn't know who your audience is. So it's either gonna not push your content out to a new group of people because it doesn't really know who to push it out to or it's going to take a bit of a guess and push it out to a bunch of people who it thinks would like your content. What the result of that is, is that your content doesn't get as much engagement as it deserves because they either decide not to push it out to people outside of your audience, so therefore fewer people see it, which means less engagement, or they push it out to the wrong audience, which in my opinion is even worse because if they push it out to the wrong audience, they won't engage with it because it's not the type of content that they like. And Instagram will see that as a sign that your content really isn't very popular, right? Because it's been seen by loads of people, but it hasn't received much engagement. So that is what happens when Instagram doesn't understand who your target audience is. And that is a common sequence for a lot of Instagram accounts at the moment, right? Now let's talk about what happens when Instagram does understand who your target audience is. Well, you share the same incredible post and you're super buzzing about it. Now, because Instagram knows who your target audience is, they will look at that post and they will decide whether or not they're gonna push your post out to your target audience. Now, when they're making that decision, they look at a bunch of different things, mainly like what the quality of that post is. But let's say it's super high quality, which I'm sure it is, and they decide, okay, and we're gonna push this post out to thousands of people who are interested in that type of content. Because they've made that decision and because they know who to push your content out to, you're probably gonna receive a lot of engagement and also potentially a lot of new followers because now your target audience are seeing your incredible piece of content, right? But not only that, because Instagram decided to push your content out to a bunch of people who don't follow you yet, but who are interested in your content, and then you've received followers from it, you've received engagement from it, you're now sending all these signals to Instagram that your content is incredible. So guess what's gonna happen the next time you post? they're probably gonna push it out to a new audience again, right? Because you're telling them what they want to hear. You're saying, hey, my content's great, people love it. Just keep on pushing it out to my target audience. Now let's talk about the second benefit to Instagram having a good understanding of who your target audience is, as well as you having a good understanding of who your target audience is. The second benefit is that it increases the chances of you being featured on people's home feeds regardless of whether or not they follow you. So you've probably seen the fairly recent feature. I feel like this was, this maybe came about at the start of this year of 2022, where users can now see content from people who they don't follow on their home feed. So an area which was previously only reserved for accounts that people are following is now sharing space with accounts that they might not be following yet. So what does this mean for you? Well, it means that if you manage to get in Instagram's good books and if Instagram has a good understanding of who you're targeting, audience is, you might be one of the accounts that appears on someone else's home feed. And that to me is like the absolute golden piece of real estate on Instagram when you're trying to grow. If you are getting suggested to people on their home feeds, I mean, that is like, it's one of the best places to be because that is where most people spend their time, right? Okay, so here's an example of what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on the screen. So this one is coming from someone who I don't follow and it's appearing on my homepage because I saved a post from someone else. So you can always tell when these posts are appearing on your home feed, other than the fact that it's coming from an account that you don't follow. It will say something on the top like, because you saved a post from X or because you follow X or because you liked X's post. 
right? So whilst Instagram haven't come out and shared the exact signals they look for when they're trying to decide whether or not you get featured on someone else's homepage, I think it's fairly safe to assume that how Instagram decides whether or not you're gonna be featured on someone's homepage is by pairing your account with other accounts which are similar to yours. And in order for them to be able to do that, they need to understand who your audience is. If they find an account what's similar to mine, that's doing really well, and they understand that my account and that account has the same audience, well, when someone likes a post from that account, it increases the chances of my next post being shared to that person because Instagram thinks that my account and that person's account is similar. Therefore, whoever likes content from that person's account will probably also like content from mine. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> So you might have gotten to this point in the video and be thinking, okay, great, I get it. But how do I ensure that Instagram understands who my target audience is? If that's you, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. The first is that you need to know who your audience is. <laughs> sounds obvious but you'll be surprised at how many people skip this step when it comes to starting their Instagram page and creating a strategy for their Instagram page it's the most fundamental step understanding who your audience are what they like what they dislike what they find difficult where they're located what language they speak all of that information is vital you need to use that information to ensure that from now on every time you're creating a piece of content every time you're writing a caption every time you're on your stories you are speaking directly to that audience so everything you create create from now on needs to be for a specific audience. That is the most fundamental thing that you need to do in order to ensure that Instagram understands who your audience are. Because essentially, how are they gonna know who your target audience are if you don't know who they are? The second tip, get serious about Instagram search. Instagram search is the feature what allows people to search for content about a specific thing. When you start to incorporate tactics associated with Instagram search, you are actually allowing Instagram to understand who you are, who your audience is, and what your content is about. I could talk about Instagram search for hours, so if you're looking for more tips on that, I recommend watching this video because I break down some key tips and tactics to utilize Instagram search in this day and age. The third tip is to, you guessed it, be consistent. I hate being that girl, that, that person who talks about being consistent. It's honestly a bit annoying, but let me talk about why being consistent is important in this context. Let's say that as a result of watching this video, you go and take some action, which I'm hoping you do. You go and take some action and you work to define your audience, right? And then after that, you realize that actually your content has been a bit jumbled and you haven't always been speaking to one specific audience. So from now on, you make sure that's what you're doing. Amazing. Where consistency comes in is if you do all of that work and then you change your content strategy, right? But then you only start posting once a week or sometimes it's once every other week. Sometimes you don't post for months. It's gonna take so much longer for Instagram to build up that understanding of who your audience is. It's gonna take a very long time. Whereas if you do all of that work and then you start posting five times a week, seven times a week, three times a week if that's what you can manage, right? But if you start doing that consistently, Instagram is gonna to get to the stage where they understand who the audience is that you're trying to speak to a lot quicker. So that is the reason why I have to give the whole consistency or maybe even more like frequency note. That is it for today's video. I know I've already given you a few different videos for you to watch, but I really do recommend that you watch this video, which is all about Instagram's algorithm. As mentioned, I dive deep into it. I give you so much information on it and it's all fact checked. It's all information that I found from various different Instagram resources. So I recommend checking that out. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I can't wait to see you in my next video.